describe it? The um, when dealing with like bureaucracies such as libraries or schools, it is very very important to get the correct permissions from the correct uh, authorities, uh, especially for schools, especially going out to kids because the uh, the teachers the teachers need to know exactly what it is that I'm doing. So. Uh, the process has started which I start talking to the bureaucracy and finding out who I need to talk to and then uh, they'll probably reject me and then I'll talk to them a little bit more and then, well I'm quite lucky here because we've got uh, it's good. That's that no, no, right, oh, it'll be picked, it's picked up. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so you, you were saying that they'll oh, probably... Should I, re should I turn that off, you think, or turn the ringer off or something? Uh, Here, I can hand it to you. Yes. I wonder if there's a... No. Actually, I don't, I don't know what it... You probably won't get that many calls. Uh... The important thing is, uh, we're still in here. Yes. Yeah. The important thing is to talk to the bureaucracy. The uh, so I'll probably get refused, and then uh, I'll go back and I'll talk to them again, and then we're lucky here because uh, the uh, local councillors and local um, members of the Scottish Parliament, members of Parliament, and we have. Uh, member of the European Parliament, the equivalent of senator in, in America, uh, is they're more and more interested because they can see the benefit of being able to use open source software. And uh, if, if I can give uh, 750 pupils uh, all the same software, which uh, give them the choice of having that software, then uh, and potentially save a lot of money. It actually will be, uh, th there'll be a lot of equivalent bureaucracies that can save money as well. The interesting thing about the schools thing, the really interesting thing about the schools thing is that I'm not giving it to the school. And the reason that I'm not giving it to the school is because it's expensive to be able to change software on school computers, or on library computers, or in a company computer. It's expensive to do that. It's time consuming. But if what I'm doing, and, and what I need to do is change a whole big bureaucracy and a, a large IT department who would fight me all the way, and quite rightly so. I mean, I, I used to do that kind of stuff, so and I would fight it if I was on their side. But I'm giving the CDs out to the pupils, and that's not in the schools. So it doesn't cost the schools any money, but they can get the benefit. And there's a really interesting thing that companies can do. Business companies that are wanting to be able to move from or investigate open source software and that is during a, a, a migration from, say, upgrading to one type of uh, office suite to another, then uh, it's, it's a very long, very expensive process. But with open source software, you can actually give the software to your employees for their home computers, and they can test it out at home and get used to it before the migration in the company computers so that they know about it. And that is very important because every single migration, every single the, uh, deployment, large deployment of computers has always started with companies and then the deployment goes out to the public. But now the deployment can start in the public and move into the companies and it would be beneficial 
for private companies to do this because they can give something to their employees that their employees like and what's more, their employees can give it to other people so if they want to do it as well. So there's uh, some really uh, interesting things there. But uh, as far as saving capital, there's lots of different arguments about total cost of ownership and uh, that which is better. That's uh, an argument that can be replayed over and over again. It just depends on what you're doing. And the only thing that's really important is, does it get the job done? So, the, uh, But there's potential to save. But I believe that there's a potential to save money for the public, the general public, because they don't need the same amount of, uh, so the same type of software as uh, something, say, like a lawyer's office needs to have like specific uh, type of software or uh, hospitals or something like that. The home computers, they don't do nearly the same amount of stuff and it's perfect. And it save Scotland a ridiculous amount of money. What was the response to your uh, distribution?